This slide is about tax criteria. We are going to do the following. We will explain different tax criteria that determines if a tax is good or not. Note that we do not provide slides about the rest of Learning Unit 8 as it mainly involves work that you have to study and learn. So this is Adam Smith and he had certain criteria for a good tax. The first one is neutrality. A tax should disturb prices and allocation of resources as little as possible, thus the tax should be neutral. The second is equity. A tax should be spread fairly across society. So we have two types of equity. Horizontal equity, which means people in the same position pays the same amount of tax, and vertical equity, which means that people in different positions pay differently. In other words, richer people pay more tax and poorer people pay less tax. And then administrative simplicity, which implies that it should not be difficult or costly to collect the tax. That is because a complicated tax system creates opportunities for tax avoidance. So tax avoidance refers to legal ways to avoid taxes, while tax evasion is illegal because it refers to illegal ways to avoid paying taxes. So let's look at different types of tax. The major categories are direct taxes and indirect taxes. So direct taxes are levied on a person, for example, income tax, while indirect taxes are levied on goods and services. We get general indirect taxes, such as VAT, which are levied on all goods and services. And then we get selective indirect taxes, which are only levied on certain goods and services, for example, the sin tax on alcohol. A different way to classify tax is to look at progressive tax. The rich pays a larger percentage of income to taxes than the poor. Proportional tax, where the rich and poor pay the same percentage of income to taxes. And then regressive tax, where the rich pay a smaller percentage of income to that particular type of tax than poor people. So, it's important to take note that it's about the percentage of tax that someone pays. In other words, the percentage of their income and not the amount that they pay. That will determine whether a tax is progressive, proportional or regressive. So if we look at personal income, income tax, that is tax levied on a person's taxable income. So the taxable income is the legal tax base. The marginal tax rate is the rate at which each additional rand of income will be taxed. So if you earn more, what percentage income, what percentage tax will you pay on that income? And then the average tax rate is the ratio between the amount of tax paid and your total, your total taxable income. Personal income tax in South Africa is progressive and we will explain that a little bit in de more detail now. And the capital gains tax are taxes on gains resulting from the sales of assets like shares and fixed property. Then company tax in South Africa is an example of a proportional tax rate, so all companies pay the same percentage of, ta of the uh, total profit towards tax. Then value added tax or VAT is an example of a regressive tax. Why is that? Because poor people spend a larger part of their income on items on which they have to pay VAT because they do not save or invest their money. Therefore they pay a higher percentage of their total income on VAT than rich people because rich people spend a smaller percentage of their income. 
they save or invest a larger percentage of it. So that is why VAT is a regressive tax. When we talk about the rise in the overall tax burden, it means that the, the public is paying more tax than previously. Previously, so the tax burden on the public has increased. Crowding out means that an increase in government spending causes a decrease in private expenditure. So because people, the public has to pay more tax, it has less money available to spend. And because it's paid to the government, they have more money available to spend. Let's look at an example of how to calculate personal tax. So let's suppose we have John who earned 250,000 Rand for the 2018-19 financial year. And this is an extract from the tax table for 2018-19. So we, there is a column for the taxable income and a column for the rates of tax for each different taxable income. Of course, this table will be much longer and include other levels of income as well. So John will fall into this income bracket between 195,850 Rand and 305,850 Rand because he earned 250,000 Rand. So these tax rates will be applicable. 35,253 Rand plus 26% of the taxable income above 195,850 Rand. So on the first 195,850 Rand, that is the amount of tax he will pay, 35,253 Rand, and on the rest, 26%. So let's see how we can calculate how much tax John has to pay exactly. So as we've said, he will pay 35,253 Rand on the income of 195,850 Rand. On the amount of income above 195,850, he has to pay 26%. That is his marginal tax rate. So we have to calculate on which amount of income he has to pay 26%. So we take 250,000 Rand and we subtract that 195,850 from that and that gives us 54,150 Rand. Now we calculate 26% of that income. 26% of 54,150. So how do we calculate that? 26 divided by 100 times 54,150 and that will give you 14,079 Rand. So the total tax that John has to pay is the 35,253 Rand on the first 195,850 Rand and then he has to pay 26% on 54,150, which is the 14,079 Rand. So if we add those two together, it gives us 49,332 Rand. So now we can calculate John's average tax rate. So that is his total tax that he pays divided by 250,000 Rand times 100 to give, that, to give us a percentage. So that will be a percentage of 19,73%. That is John's average tax rate. His marginal tax rate, or the tax that he pays on each additional income, or the last Rand that he earns, is that 26%. So, on any additional income, the marginal tax rate is paid. 
and therefore personal income tax is progressive. At a higher income, a higher average tax rate will be paid. So what you can do now is go and calculate if John earned 280,000 Rand, what his average tax rate will be, and you will see it will be higher than 19.73%, which implies that personal income tax is progressive. So you should now be able to do the following. List and briefly explain the different tax criteria. Explain different types of tax in South Africa. Explain how to calculate the tax payable on a certain income. Explain how to calculate the average tax rate and compare it to the marginal tax rate.